All right, welcome back, everyone. We have a special guest from the <laughs> Zoo of Acadiana here. It's uh, Bissell. She's an anteater. Ladies, Katie Deese and Jennifer Picard from the zoo are here. Ladies, great to have you here. Thanks for bringing her. Thanks for having us. Tell us a little bit about her. So Bissell is a lesser anteater, otherwise known as a tamandua. These guys come from South America, and they've also been discovered um, up into Mexico as well. They're smaller than their cousins, the giant anteater, so Bissell is full grown. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Now, they, they clearly eat ants. That's why they're called the anteater. They have <laughs> yes. long tongues, too. Yes, they have very long tongues. She is um, an ant eater, obviously, so she does eat <laughs> ants. But they also eat things like termites. They like soft fruits. Mm -hmm. And honey is one of her favorites. So we brought a little honey tube here nice. to give a demonstration of just how long her tongue actually is. Katie, what, is she, what was she eating in that duck? So what we're giving her in this bowl is what we call an insect smoothie. Okay. So we blend up uh, insects all over, Emily. <laughs> with a little <laughs> yogurt <friends>. or honey. <laughs> all right, we'll see if she's interested in her honey tube. Oh. She's not. You said she's not a morning. Bissell not, is not a morning not, person. Okay, so you had to get her up this morning. Yeah, I understand Bissell. I feel that way sometimes yeah, too. Goes. But it's oh, yeah. Friday, so hey. Do you want to try her? So it's like a it's like a honey smoothie for her, huh? Yes, it is a smoothie of insects, and we do put some honey in it as well. Tell me about her claws, Katie, because she has real. Well, they're very sharp, claws. as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> These claws are super important for this animal. They're going to help her to climb. They're going to help her to dig. Okay. Um, climbing is super important for them as well. Mm -hmm. They do have what we call a prehensile or grasping tail, so you can see she's holding onto the table there, and that's going to help them to steady themselves when they climb high up in the trees. Me and Jeff were talking yesterday because we couldn't decide if they were furry or not, but they yeah. are. I didn't, I didn't furry realize how creepy. furry they are. The fur yeah. is super important for them. If you feel her, you can feel she's actually a lot more coarse than you mm -hmm. would think. Mm -hmm. And that's really important because they do eat stinging insects. They do need to be able to um, fend off all of those stings. So. Now, are they aggressive normally or not? They can be aggressive, okay. absolutely. Um, whenever they do show aggression, they'll usually stand up and show their big claws. Wow. Um, so definitely they, they are very funny whenever they're being aggressive, but <laughs> definitely not something to take lightly. They're a very unique looking animal. I mean, the, the, their head, the shape of her head too. Very. That's to get into like logs and all and get ants and Yes, bugs. so she needs to be able to break it open. They also eat things like termites. So it is important for them to break open logs and be able to get to those termites and things like that. Aww. Well, ladies, thanks for coming in and thanks for bringing Bissell in. She'll be at the Zoo of Acadiana. You can check her out and uh, with all her friends out there hanging out <laughs> yes. and uh, eating ants, I guess, right? Yeah, we'll Getting let her get back and take a nap. She looks like she needs one. She's sleepy. Beautiful Annie over here. <laughs> thanks, ladies, for coming in. Appreciate thanks the so time. Much. All right, good to see you. We'll <laughs> be back you with more Paw Spot, too. Stay with us.